Hi folks, welcome to another mystery beer. Uh, another one from the legend that is Mersey Beers. Uh, we did a little bit of um, a double order. I did an order with Cloudwater, he did an order with Marble. By the way, this is very nice. Review probably coming up because I'm going to try and get this uploaded before the other scheduled stuff. And uh, yeah, so I picked some Marble stuff. He picked some cloud water stuff. Post football drop off. And uh, yeah, he also included a few little bits and pieces, including a mystery beer. So I've got the uh, City and United game on. Well, that sounds like there's um, a widget in there, potentially. Uh, I've got the United, no, the City and United game on. Uh, mainly because, oh yes. Let's give it not too much for the aggressive pour, because it's not the sort of glass you really want to do an aggressive pour on. Um, and there we go, look at that. Very nice indeed. Anyway, back to what I'm saying. Got the City and United game on, mainly because couldn't find um, a stream for the Venezia game. So it'll do, although I do want to watch it because, you know, I've got City to win on my accumulator and they're currently being beat 1-0 um, due to an absolutely wonderful goal by Rashford, uh, even though I'm not a big fan of Rashford at all. But you'll be happy to know that since that first goal, He's been playing shit again, so. School meals. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what we get with this one. Beautiful, ready, amber look to it. Just shy of one finger's worth of a white head. Beautiful look at me. It had a really nice cascade on it. So. As part of this little, um, like, trade thing, um, why can't Gaza in the... Anyway, uh, part of this little trade thing, that was... I, I used the wrong, like, reference point for that reference as well. Scrap that. I'm just trying to be funny. Um, as part of this little trade we did... Oh... City nearly equalised. Um, yeah, there was a couple of cans of Beamish in there. So, I don't know why I brought that up, um, quite frankly. But yeah, beautiful looking beer. Let's see what we get on the nose. Oof. I'm getting a lot of vanilla. Bit of like popcorn, ah, diacetyl. Yeah, it's got that, it's got quite a, quite a diacetyl-esque sickly sweetness to it. But yeah, like vanilla biscuits. There's a little bit of like a malty muskiness there. I mean, I'm saying that, it doesn't smell bad. You know, it's still a palatable aroma. Can an aroma be palatable? But I've got no fucking clue what this is at this point. Minor acid reflux there. Cheers. Let's just give it a taste. That's a whole lot of nothing, really. There's a little bit of like a bitter aftertaste. Oh, I'm trying to think of like, I mean, is there a widget in there? Yeah, there is a widget. What could that be? I'm trying to think. Oh, 
what's that beer called? That comes in like a white and green can. Not Boddington's. Definitely not Boddington's. Like Worthington? No, not Worthington's. Oh my God, what's it called? It's. I think it's that, but I don't know what it's called. I only know that because it's in my local bargain booze. But I think that's more of like a golden thing. I don't know. Oh. Do you know what it's reminding me of? You know, if you've got cordial and you just put way too much water in it, where you're getting a flavour from the cordial, but it's not the flavour of what the cordial is. That's what that reminds me of. It's like you've watered down a beer to the point where you can taste that there is a beer in there, but it's so diluted, you don't know what that beer is. Worthington, I'm, why have I got Worthingtons in my head? Is that even a thing? Like a, a bitter with nitro in it. It's definitely, to me, it's got slight, I know I'm saying that because the last beer that I drank is a bitter. And it's got that sort of same character, but very, very diluted. Really nice and creamy though. If there was just even a hint more flavour, you've got something that's that could be quite nice. But the body's really nice. Oh, Worthington. I'm just going to say Worthington's. If it is the can what I think it is, you'll know what I mean. But I'm just saying this right now. I've not got this one. This is, I've fucked this up massively. About 3.6%. A bitter, obviously nitro, cream flow, whatever. Cream flow, there we go, cream flow. That's what we're, we're going to stick with. I'm not drinking the rest of this, by the way. I just really don't like it, uh, to be honest. It's not even, like, bad. It's just such a non-entity. Do you know what I mean? Right, let's get started on opening up the uh, the label. As always, uh, very well wrapped. But I don't care if we do it incorrectly. Right, I can pull here, so I will pull it. Close my eyes. Get it all open. I won't worry too much about any of the tape and tape being stuck on there. And we'll just use that same thumbnail that I've used for the last... Um, last three mystery beers so let's have a look oh no and well it's not the, the beer or the brewery that I was thinking of uh, Belhaven Best Smooth Session Ale Draft Beer 3.2% not too far off uh, Belhaven or the Beautiful Harbour Nestles among the rolling barley fields of Scotland's beautiful east coast. From over 300 years we have brewed in this place using only the finest ingredients. The result is an unforgettably smooth ale with rich character. Draft flow. I mean, with it being you know, a beer with a widget and being that colour, you're really not going to stray too far of what that style is going to be. Um, but yeah, God, I've not even thought of Belhaven um, for absolutely years. 
didn't they try and like uh, ride on the crest of uh, Brewdog with some of their like craft stuff and they had like even like a grapefruit IPA which was all right very synthetic but this no the, the more I'm drinking it the only flavour I'm really getting is like a diacetyl so it's um, a misery beer. But I don't think, considering I wrote myself off, and to my credit, I did say I've failed this one. I don't actually think I've done too bad. But that being said, to go against me, there's really not many avenues you can go down when you pour a beer like that, you hear, well, you see the, when you open it, that's the gesture for opening it, by the way. When you see it, like, coming up to the top of the can, and then when you pour it, it cascades, and you hear the, he just carried on talking, my burp, and you can hear the widget in the can. You know exactly what sort of thing you're playing with, but, um, yeah, that's a good, that's a good mystery beer for me. Very good mystery beer. Not me trying to work out what it is, but the mystery beer itself. Because mystery beers would be really boring if you just surprise that person with, like, really good beer. Do you know what I mean? They're, like, distinct. Oh, well, this is, um, you know, oh, this is obviously going to be putty. Well, like, do you know what I mean? Where's the fun in that? Anyway. But it's not a good beer. So, um, yeah, how do you think I did? Blah, 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 blah. Massive, massive thank you to Mersey Beers. Link in the description. And, uh, yeah. Didn't do too bad on that one. I'm, I'm a little... Well, I'm not proud of myself, because why would you be proud of guessing what beer is? Do you know what I mean? It's like, why would I be proud of... Oh, look at all the subscribers you've got. Well, first of all, I never get that, because I don't have hardly any subscribers. But, like, why would you be proud of, like having a big subscriber base you know what it's not like a major talent to be become a big youtuber do you know what i mean the most subscribed to beer reviewer on youtube who fucking cares <laughs> do you know what i mean you're just a I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Cheers for watching. You all take care. Stay safe. And uh, I shall see you later. Don't know what that was. Fuck off.